Looks like I've seen Anything better days. Open up! Please hear me out! Shut up and stay put! You're gonna have to make me. Here we are again, huh? I'm growing bored of this master. Seriously, why does this keep happening to me? It's like some evil spirit is haunting me. That's crazy. What? That's impossible. Although, you do have an adorable partner here. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there you go, sighing again. Keep it up and something bad will happen. I hope a meteor crashes down on me. You sound like Vivia, dog. You're not even gonna try to escape? But we're in the lab. Just get out! Is it time to switch out? Oh, is that late already? The guy inside? It's me. He seems to have quieted down. Anyway, you can take it from here. <sighs> what awkward peacekeepers. What are you doing? Am I gonna be tortured? Please, wait. I don't know anything. Honest. Stand up. Your sentence has been decided. You will be put to death. Cool. Wow! You got the death penalty just for tagging along? I don't want you to die, Master! Then do something! However, I will give you one chance. If you wish to escape your fate, say the name of the girl you love. <laughs> huh? Huh? Come on. That's enough fooling around. Uh, won't you let me have a bit more fun? My friends are here! Tatsuhiko and Chief Yako? Took you long enough to notice, Yuma. If you're this dense, no wonder you got caught. So, you used your disguise. I wouldn't really call it a disguise. This is more like a change of clothes for me. So who is the girl you like anyway, Master? Um... Now. Anyway, what are you doing here, Yuma? That's what I want to know. Why are you two here? First off, you need to calm down, Yuma. Tell me what you're doing here. Uh, well, I was investigating that secret lab and... Okay. And that's what happened. I see. So that masked CEO had a hand in things. No wonder you were all fidgety when you came back to the agency. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm sure you had no choice. Oh, that's nothing to be proud of, mind you. It's not some stranger with a sweet whisper that has your back when it matters. It's your friends, right? Don't mistake these that. matters. Think carefully about who really cares for... Hey, now's not the time to give a lecture. <laughs> Why are all old men like this? I'm not that old. Master sure is an expert at getting into trouble. You're also an expert at crying out for help. But I wonder why these two are here. So, why are you two here? Oh, this was delivered to us after you left the agency. Oh, it's the same death threat. It's the hitman's death threat. Why was this sent to the detective agency? Leads me. But this Dr. Weska guy is famous among Amaterasu's staff. Also, I remembered he shut himself... I'm back. What the him. hell? <laughs> What's happened oh, here? Uh, so we got captured and then these two... We got captured by the peacekeepers and then these two came in disguised as peacekeepers to save us. So we came here to the oh, lads. and saw the peacekeepers director head inside looking all irritated. Which was our cue that something must have happened. And that's where I came in. I hid myself among the other peacekeepers and followed them inside to what happened to be... The rare few moments when Desahiko is actually useful. I heard some careless detective got captured, so we came to help. Thanks, man. You really saved me. Thanks to this letter. Why to is this room... The I, I, there's security cameras here. Why is this the room where I got thrown? I, I didn't even literally I got thrown into this room and then immediately I just took a nap on the floor. Look at all this shit around here. <laughs> but this think the they, don't, they don't seem to have like a mini cell <laughs> or anything. Yeah, I just got thrown in here. 
I just took a nap instead of investigating what the fuck is in this room. Doesn't that just make it harder to kill the target? The peacekeepers have ramped up the Oh, um, they also said we found out the death threat by Fink the Slaughterman or whatever got delivered to the detective agency. So that's how they figured out oh. they were that we were here or something like like that. You'll never understand what these wacky named psychos are thinking. Maybe he prefers having a challenge or something. I don't know what the hitman is plotting. Or it's a cover up. To do. We must take Dr. Weska into custody as soon as possible and extract information about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I don't think that's happening. If they really are researching homunculi, then he would know. Right. But from what Yuma said, this mission won't be that simple. The masked man is meeting the doctor for a reason. At least we have he like help. After him too. Yeah. On top of that, some first-rate hitman's gunning for him. The fight over Dr. Weska is taking shape. Our competition's quite What happened to CEO guy? Uh he also got captured by uh Yomi Hell Smile. Oh that oh that fucking sucks. Yeah. But we But he's not captured. He's Yomi is taking him back to like the uh the peacekeeper headquarters so they can like chat, quote unquote chat for a bit. The nocturnal right. detective agency has been pressed in on all sides. So it's about time to show them what we're made of. Sure. Oh, Chief, you're usually so pessimistic. I like what I'm hearing. All right. Let's do this. Hell yeah. Let's. Yes. I love this totally gung ho attitude. It's super stupid. Yeah. Yeah, you'd know about stupid. Yuma. Everyone's you actually keen to figure out shit. Your preference and make you look like a lady peacekeeper. Yes, sir. How did you know? Oh wait! No, I have to hide my <laughs> oh, I have a wait, preference. Here. All right. I need to get it first. Let's go. Hell yeah! Is there any chance? Uh, my family just got back from the holiday, and my niece is over. Is there any chance we could just like pause for ten minutes, or do you want? Or am I going to just step out and you continue? Oh, uh, you can step out. That's fine. Uh, all right. I don't think anything's going to happen. I'll be a little bit inattentive. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go see my family. Yep. And my niece will leave shortly, so um, yeah. I'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy, Gus. Brother, you got caught, you got scratched. Thanks for coming to help me, bro. Hell yeah. All right. Let's show more detectives we're made of. Man, why are we so happy? Something immediately bad's gonna happen. <laughs> we are so unbelievably fucked. The mask is different every morning, depending on his mood. Sometimes it takes him more than 30 minutes to choose to the chagrin of people around. Really? But he's been wearing the same one all every time we've seen him. That's baloney. I don't believe you. Oh, fuck. Ah. What's going on? Intruder alert. Blackout? I despise both extremely dark and bright places. Please make it just right. H hang on. Calm down. Don't move about carelessly. Can we hold hands? Hey. Lights came back. Oh. Power has been disrupted. We are now switching to backup power. Review all systems and report any errors. Weird. I got at a high tech place like this? <laughs> Must this be Fink. Going nutso mode. No. Maybe it was. Could it have been the hitman? If the security system protecting the lab shut down during the blackout. Oh shit. This is bad. The doctor is in danger. Let's head to the critical lab right away. We need to protect the doctor. So what, are we gonna Take fist fight him? Right. Wait, wait. That blackout should have caused a commotion. If we leave now, the peacekeepers will see us. is crawling with them. What do we do? I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. You're pretty confident you can get away for a guy who smokes. Huh? You chief? What? You're worried I can't do it? I might not have a forte, but I do have my detective experience back Just in put me. your fucking disguise back on. I'm chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Leave this to me. Wow! This head looks so cool now! Okay, good luck. Wait three minutes okay, after good. I leave the room. I'll get their attention by then. 
You guys use that opportunity to secure custody of the doctor. I'm counting on you both. See you later. Do you think three minutes won't be enough time for the hitman to make it there? Because I have my doubts. I saw him go this way. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Actually, aren't we the ones doing the more dangerous thing? That's not true. I'm sure it's also dangerous for the chief to be a decoy. Well, I guess just being here is dangerous either way. <laughs> I think we can go now. All right, it's been three minutes. Disguise. Let's hurry to the doctor. Right. You sure you don't want to just swipe the bag? Yuma. Now's yeah. our chance. Let's get out of here. We're fucked. The hallway is darker than before. It's because it's no backup power. The doctor's lab is this way. There's no time for a detour. Let's hurry. I'm kind of on board with it too, honestly. Oh, you can see inside the lab from here. Sorry, I was just investigating. A little late to the party, but it's fine. This place. But I hope Chief Yaku is okay. Oh, no, that looks an awful lot like Fubuki. Out. We thought the doctor would be in danger, so we. I no longer have to fear getting lost. I am in your care. Huh? Oh, Yuma. Has your amnesia deteriorated <laughs> to the point that you have forgotten me? Wait. Fubuki? Princess, things have gotten complicated. <laughs> uh, so you can take that off now. Oh, I forgot. How about now, Yuma? Does my face look familiar? Yes, ma'am. Fubuki, you're here too. Yes, I am a detective and adventurer. The chance to explore dangerous places gets me excited. Hell yeah. But because everyone is disguised, I cannot tell who is who. So that's how you got lost. As usual, she is such a troublemaker. Not any more than you. We don't you. have any time to waste. Let's hurry to the doctor. I guess it's only the three of us. On Halora's MIA and fucking Vivia's, I don't know, jacking off somewhere. I hope he's all right. Hello? Doctor! What? You again? Stop calling me. Thank goodness. Dr. Huesca, you're still all right. What are you talking about? The hitman hasn't arrived yet. When will he show up? I'm waiting. I've been itching for a fight this whole time. Don't tell me this so-called first-rate hitman was captured by peacekeepers. No, the hitman hasn't been caught yet. Anyway, there was a blackout earlier. Is your security system all right? <clears throat> this critical lab operates on a separate power system. That obviously includes its security measures. I can even review the log on the computer itself. Yes. Security didn't drop for even a second. Cool. It's a baseless worry. Sheesh. Seems like he stayed safe, but man, this old guy sure is annoying. You can old say that again. Guy. Annoying? I can see you, you pathetic tiny weakling. What? You calling me a weakling? How dare you? <laughs> you calm down, Desuhiko. It's all right, man. By the way, who is that woman behind mm. you? Oh, um, she's another detective like us. She's here to protect you. A detective woman? Protecting me? Oh, God. That is right. I shall do my best to protect you. This is like the worst possible turn of events. This might be our chance, princess. That dirty old man has a new look in his eye. <laughs> Alright, Desu, he goes the man who's that spit it on its head. Alright, come on, buddy. Let's draw the geezer out of his hiding place with a honey trap. Ooh, tell him. I will serve you with all my heart. Yeah. Sure. Leave it to me. Hell yeah. Desu She's got Hiko it. Says he will serve you with all his heart. Yeah. Hey, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I get the two stupid ones? <laughs> Running low on supplies, so I suppose it's time. If that was easy, detectives will protect me. 
Whoa, she's super effective. Dr. Huesca, I'll come get you. Can you shut off the security on your end? Huh? Wait. What the... Dr. Huesca? What's wrong? Wait, who are you? Help! <laughs> Somebody come help me! D doctor Doctor! Oh, hey, fuck. What just happened? Did he say who are you? Was he attacked by the hitman? But the security system is still active. No one could possibly reach him. Come on, the doctor was definitely just attacked by someone. We have to go help him. Wait, Fubuki, stop! There are toxic gas and high voltage traps inside. Toxic gas? High voltage? <laughs> What is that? There's some dangerous security devices up ahead. But at this rate, Dr. Dirty Geezer will... That's not his name. Fuck. No, that is what his name. What are we supposed to do? We can't help him. What do we do? Should we take a gamble and rush in? Hey, That's not just a gamble. Kill, You'll just immediately die. Like a detective should. But I don't know what to do. That's why you gotta think. There must be someone. You're telling me to think, but I have no idea. Bypass security and protect the doctor. I should sound the alarm, hack in, ask Shinigon for you for help, use a toy. I can't hack in. Shinigami can't help. Sound the alarm is bad idea. Use a toy. Huh? Use what? This lab has been developing a toy robot. Toxic gas wouldn't affect it. And it's supposed to be durable, so I'm sure it could withstand high voltages. Oh, so we can control oh, it! Totally and it's outfitted with a camera! Yeah, let's go get that robot. Oh, hold on. If we all leave this place, isn't there a chance the intruder could escape? He could even get away with the doctor. Just go get it, Desuhiko. I remain here and keep watch? Are you sure, Fubuki? Yes. If someone shows up, we can just turn back time. Yeah, but they'll still show up. Oh, I guess there's that. Well, we should leave her here then. She's better at this than us anyway. You can count on me. All right. Let's go get that robot. Good. Oh, I get it. Vivia's garments? So it wouldn't be accurate to call it clothing. And whatever. Master, you gotta hurry! This way, this way! Master, maybe it's here. The sign reads Robot Lab. Uh huh. You're right. Excuse me. Just, just bust it open! What the? More peacekeepers? When will you leave me alone? Nah, man. That commotion going on in the blackout too. I can't concentrate on my research. Just punch him and steal the robot in the remote. That's not it. We're not peacekeepers. We're detectives. There's something we'd like help with. Man, we do not have the time to be explaining this garbage. Just give us the fucking thing. And that's what happened. Really? Dr. Weska? Let me think about it. I really need him to decide quickly. To fuck it, just just fucking slug him. We're supposed to wait a little. So, how about we kill some time checking that place out? Behold, a friend for uh, a friend for a new era by Amaterasu Corporation. The remote control robot by the camera, I'm a pal. It can withstand even the roughest play with your rowdiest children. It's tough enough for an elephant to stand on. Right on. Um, are you close with I should have looked at the other shit. No way. He's not close with anyone. But there isn't a single person at Amaterasu Corporation who doesn't know about him. He's famous in a variety of ways. To be quite blunt, we don't get along. His research is sanctimonious and unethical. He'd sacrifice others for the sake of his research without hesitation. Where most people falter, he's remorseless. Mm -hmm. I heard he shut himself in the critical lab, and honestly, I wouldn't care if he remained there the rest of his life. That old guy is really hated around these parts. Although, I totally get it. Okay. 
least I can still look around. Oh! The shelf has a bunch of files with research reports. Shows how much was put into the Amapal. Excuse me, miss. Yeah. Do you understand the benefits this experiment will impart on human society if you prove successful? Uh, um, <laughs> of course we know! And that joy romantic dinner with me, isn't that benefit you're talking about? Goodness. You don't understand? Kindly keep your mouth shut. You're so close, buddy. You almost had it. Uh, if you're not a peacekeeper, whoever you are, leave me alone. I'm a focused intellectual. Your head's not wired like that. Yeah, we're... He's built different. Uh, but... I probably have to be a researcher here to understand it. This check this shit out. I think they must be testing robots. How else would you check if they can handle high voltages and toxic gas? I'm not sure that's what they're testing for. Alright, hey, buddy. Hey, don't mess with Alma Pal without permission. Uh, sorry. So it's called Alma Pal. <laughs> Is the robot really as amazing as you describe it? An amateur like yourself cannot fathom it. Amapal is a fusion of all the state-of-the-art technology in our lab. Cool. Some researchers are even considering implementing it as part of militarized weapon technology. But investing state-of-the-art technology into a toy is the epitome of peaceful civilization, don't you think? Uh... <laughs> Maybe true, but um, there are other things to worry about right now. Uh, looks like I don't have a choice. I'm obligated to help, even if it's Dr. Weska. All you right. dark Ruska. That is the purpose of science, after all. This is such a big help. Thank you. Listen carefully. You can control Amapal through this tablet. Oh, hell yeah. A display will appear with the camera's feed from behind Amapal's eyes. Observe through here. While moving Amapal with the controller, bumping into walls won't hurt it, so there's no need to be overly careful. All right, I'll give it a try. Also, regarding Amapal's arms, for child safety purposes, the ends of his arms are ball-shaped. It is unable to grab anything, but has enough strength to flip a switch. So we can press a button. But it won't respond to any other commands while retracting or extending the arms. So keep that in mind. For example, until the arms fully retract, it cannot move or turn its head. This prevents the arm wires from tangling up, keeping children from getting too adventurous while playing. That's everything. Any questions? No, sir. No, I think I got it. I'm a pal is built to be tough. Obviously, the elephant thing is an exaggeration for advertisements, but its load capacity is 100 kilograms. That being said, I don't know if it can survive high voltages. Oh, um... Shit, so I can't still, get it fucked up. Human life takes priority. Please return it to me once you're done. Our other Amapal units are broken right now, so it's the only one that's functioning. Understood. We will be sure to return Amapal to you. Welcome back. Oh, what a nice robot. Did you decide on a name yet? No, can you can you come up with one for me? Sure. Anyway, did anything strange happen, Fubuki? No. I kept watch the whole time, but no one entered did you? the room. Which means the doctor and the intruder are both still inside. Let's check the intercom again. Sure. Actually, yeah. Yup. Yep. Let's check the inter. By the way. How about Porta? Oh, I know. How about Isaac? Huh? Yes, that's the robot's Come name. On. Not now, sheltered skank. Um, we really don't have time to be. Na His name is Amapal, obviously. I gotta piss again. This sucks.
Ugh. Okay. It's no use. Still no answer. It, he's not just ignoring us, right? It's reasonable to suspect something happened. Probably. We still might make it in time. Let's use the robot to investigate the situation in the lab. So that's the toxic gas chamber over there. <laughs> they sure made this extremely dangerous. Y Yuma, don't go too far in. If you open that door by accident, the whole place will be filled with toxic gas. Uh, leave Amapel here and let's head back. Right, we'll leave the rest to Amapel. Mm. Okay, switching it on now. All right. Come on, buddy. Let's go get toxic gas infected. But it won't permeate the skin because you have no skin. And he won't get into the lungs because you don't have any lungs. Duh. Not only can horns and a tail sprout out, but her entire body can take on a fiery form. Shinigami secret. <laughs> Pretty sure I've seen that. But among the scarce limited edition releases, there's evidently a bear variant. Oh, hey, the screen lit up. So this is what I'm a pal sees. It's like the cockpit of a mecha. Hell yeah. Oh, what was that? Did it break already? I thought it was state of the art. No, it's all right. It's stabilized. Phew. Scared me for a second. Okay, let's get to the doctor. Shinigami's tutorial corner. Okay, move forward, back, or left, right, extend with X, L make noise, R make noise, ZL make noise, okay, all of these are make noise. And rotate left and right, so it can't go to the side, it can only rotate. Pilot Amapal with finesse to get to the destination. Uh, Amapal can extend its arm and make exciting sounds. I can play Megalovania. Looks like I can't look up or down. Bring that bitch back. Okay, I get it. Yeah, even through the screen, it feels awful to be traveling through toxic gas. I am beginning to feel sick. Let's ignore it. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah. I'm making noise to combat the Sorry. other noise. Alright, Fubuki, I need your help. Oh. The door's been locked. Okay, so they're sucking the toxic air out through the vents. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's that the system won't let it open until the toxic gas has been removed. Come on, if the door opened before then, the toxic gas will leak out. Everything's spinning. <laughs> Decontamination complete. Looks like it's done. The next issue was the floor panels with high voltage currents. If you step on them in the right order, the door unlocks, right? But only the doctor knows the combination. And if you fail, it will shock you at a high voltage. There must be a hint somewhere. This kind of thing usually has some suspicious notes around to help you solve it. I've returned. Welcome back. Crap. What do we do? Oh, Fubuki here <laughs> now. Wonderful. But if Amapel is electrocuted, yeah, I need her help here. Completely helpless. I can't just go in blindly. Then you better think of something. You know, like a detective would. Just have her help me. It's not rocket science. Is there a way to step on the panels in the right order without making a mistake? No, wait. That's it. Yeah, the time, time rewind, the motherfucker. Fubuki's a Fubuki's. Obviously. I know. What about Fubuki's forte? What is it, Yuma? 
Did you figure out the panel sequence? Yeah, I'm a genius. No, no matter how hard I think about it, I'll never figure out the correct order. That's why we have to just take a chance. But if you fail, you should be electrocuted, right? Yeah. Well, not me, but... Regarding failing, doesn't this remind you of last time? Um, Don't be cryptic about it, she's stupid! You remember the bomb threat with the resistance? We were in a similar situation, but thanks to your forte, we managed to get through it. Oh, you flatter me. That's why I need your help again, Fubuki. We do, you deserve if we don't it. know the correct order for the panels, then we just need to try every single one. If I mess up, I need you to use your forte to go back to the time before we stepped on a panel. Oh, I see. That's a uh, brute force sort of method. Great job coming up with that. Yeah, I mean, like, that's all we got, don't we? I'll measure the timing. All I okay. need to do is hold your hand? Yes. Well, and, you and, and oh, I can share so it. I can lost. use it instead. Right. Yuma, uh, it looks tricky to control with one hand. Uh, <laughs> Want me to do it for you? No, it's all right. It's easier to match the timing if I control it myself. Oh, come on, man! Just switch with me. I can't be <laughs> the only one doing nothing. <sighs> Fine, I leave it up to you. Crap! I don't know the right, right answer. I so want to hold a hand. We'll just have to try all of them. Leave it to me. Lady Luck is mad in love with me after all. Amen, brother. Just you watch. I'll get it done in one shot without having to use Fubuki's powers. I uh, don't believe you. Well, that's no fun. All right, that was the right one. Oh shit! We, we have to turn back time. I couldn't control that. I don't know the right answer, so uh, leave it to me. Let's just oh, cause he doesn't know. <laughs> get it done in one shot without having to use. <laughs> you already failed once, brother. Was just about to start. You were just about to step on the wrong panel. <gasps> you rewound time and came back? Yeah. Also, yep, brother. The can't withstand the high voltage. Seriously? Oh, guess luck Damn, I guess Lady Luck today. is not in love with me. Fuck! You know, I'll let you handle the controls for Ama, pal. It'll be easier for you that way. Yeah, thanks. Got it. Um, I actually have the sequence if you want to spit it up. <laughs> it's just on this thing here. I mean, yeah, might as well. If it's just trial and error, then I don't really care. I wonder which route's right. Okay, so st step on the panels in the correct order. Floor lights up with the blue and red on incorrect. Step on the wrong and you'll be fried. And you'll have to start over. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is just trial and error. So. All right. So, so go forward, then go. Yes. Left. Okay. Left. And then it's definitely this. And go forward. All right, can, let me let me guess. Turn. First. Um. So it's either that or that. It's forward again. No. Oh, it's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then uh, in turn that case, right to the middle panel. Yeah. Well, now now there's only one option. Yeah. And now it's just this. Okay. Well then. You went backwards. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. We figured out it'll strain Fubuki if we fail too much. I better remember the right path. Okay. What? Okay, so it was this. This was the right one. Forward. Okay, yeah, it was a turn right to the middle. Turn right to the middle. So maintain course toward the second one on the right row. So keep going straight. Mm. Yeah, keep it up. Ooh. I go top right. Top right. No. Okay. Yeah. Your control is amazing. We are almost there. And then. Oh, okay. Hold on. So then I keep... Finally, while it might be tempting to send armor power to the panel to the left, top middle, the solution is to drive forward and off the panel entirely. So just fucking okay, so, leave. So that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So we just. It was just getting to the other side, it wasn't stepping on all nine. No, 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 no. Got it. Although, yeah, no, that's definitely tempting to be like, what if I try to hit all of them? <laughs> yeah, that was that was my problem. Thank goodness. Great job, princess. From my perspective, it looks like you two went straight through without making a mistake. Looks like this is it, my man. Hurry up and hit that switch. We just need to stretch all my power yeah. to that switch. Hell yeah. Let me control him. 
Just oh. Thank you, yeah. I'm a pal. You're so friendly and kind and a robot. I'm in a hurry, but this door is moving so slowly. Whatever, man. Yuma, that should be good enough. Hurry up and move Amapel through that crack in the door. <laughs> I'm yeah, oh, we gotta move him? Okay. The researcher mentioned I can't move him. Extended, no other controls will function? I guess I need to pull back the arm first. Now yes! I did this already. Yuma. Fuck, now I can move him. Alright, I guess I'm safe because I already stepped on the... I already did the right order. Oh, uh, also, while the reason we're trying to get through here is because the there was an accident. Through the monitor, we saw him. We saw the doctor say, Who are you? Who's there? And then the screen went black. Somebody pushed it over. Huh? But who? Oh, he's definitely dead. Oh, God. A part of me already Our doctor has been. I still don't He's definitely dead. My own eyes. Although no one could supposedly enter this lab, Dr. Wesker lay dead in a bloody mess. Oh, well, someone clearly fucking did because someone knocked situation. over your bot. As a cold chill went through my whole body. So, what was the deal with the ramen shop? <laughs> Yeah, why the fuck did we look at a ramen shop? Surprise, it's that fella that was following us from, to the ramen shop. Yeah, right. can't see anything while it's down. I'm trying. It is equipped with a self-writing function. It's back. Take a look quick. Nobody can kick me over at this speed. I wonder what that is. That's a dead guy. He's back. He's already dead. Can you feel his not heartbeat through there? Deadly seriously. He's dead as a door now. But how? What happened to the doctor? No. We can't say for sure that he's dead yet. I mean, he was definitely stabbed. He's dead. Yuma Use Amapel to disarm all the security. We'll go check it ourselves. Good idea. I'm kind of scared, so I'll be staying behind. Now's not the time. Well, then what good are you? <laughs> you fucking Amapel pussy. Disarm the security for now. The button should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I know where that button <laughs> Yuma, is. Yuma, you got this. I'm a pussy, <laughs> so yeah. I'm leaving. I will not be doing that. Have fun. Hey. There, Push. Oh, it's controlling it for me now. Disabling all security systems. Activation has been recorded in the log. Okay, uh -oh. so yeah, he can we can check the log. It's fine because yeah, we but, we can mm. we can because we can see that it happened before this. So anything that happened before this is fair game. In the log. Amatrasu's latest products, our drone car, will automatically deliver you from departure. What? <laughs> to tomorrow. A Menotorafoon. Coming soon from Amaterasu Corporation. Hell yeah. I love how the, these little uh, Fisher, really side fun. bullet things have been like telling us like, oh yeah, there's gonna be some motherfucker who stabs people. He's like, he might be yeah. important. <laughs> Potentially. But we don't know that yet. All security systems have been disabled. The status of every room is safe. Looks like the security has been Sweet. Formed. Let's go, Yuma. Be careful, Master. There's a high chance someone's hiding inside. Oh, what? Well, does he goes going? Good. Also, like, I have a feeling now that all the security's been disabled. Uh, anyone can just walk in. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter now. 
The only person that's left in here is potentially the killer, who's probably gonna escape while we're investigating, or had some other way inside completely. There's nothing here. Damn, that motherfucker doesn't like shoes. It's no use. Why would he? He's dead. He's been here for months. <laughs> Murder cases aren't my specialty. Then what good are you? Why is there so much bloodshed in this town? I mean, it's been a while since we came to this. City. First, some teenage girl died, and now some old man. Never get used to this. Aww, how pitiful. The detectives can't keep it together. Master, show up your investigative leadership here. After all, your corpse discovery rate is the best in the biz. I mean, I can't argue with that. Yeah, I'm a, uh, you, you, fair game. You too, Master? But you've already seen a ton of corpses. Fubuki's right. I'll never get used to seeing this. The body's still warm. He must have been killed only recently. Well, yeah, we were just Not talking to him. So that motherfucker's still here. Before we even ask about how. The security system was still active before we arrived. <laughs> Amapel proved that. Ah, he's just standing there. How did the culprit get past the security? Help me. Here? I am stuck here for all eternity, never to die, never to expire. Where did the culprit go? No one seems to be hiding nearby, and we didn't come across anyone. You didn't look in the laundry here. room. The culprit just disappeared. It's impossible. It's a completely impossible crime. The security has been disarmed. We're all so disoriented. What's going on? This is bad. It's the peacekeepers. We need to turn that bitch back on. Ah, uh, well. They're already here. Uh, they're already here. Ah, run away! And we've been discovered by the dead body. What's going on here? Why is a member of our city dead? And why are these outsiders acting like they own the place? What is this disgusting chaos? Um, please, hear us out. So you did this? No! Uh, by the time we got here, he was already... Are you a natural-born criminal? Or are you death itself, visiting us from the other side? Uh, I can either confirm nor deny Should I turn back that last her? one. If we were holding hands, maybe... Don't move. Any suspicious movement, and I'll execute you right here, right now. You'd had to serve a combined sentence of 150 years. So I might as well give you the death penalty instead! W wait Turn yourselves in, and I'll give you a chance to share your excuses. Also, I'll host a little party where you'll want to cough up all you know about the others and where they're hiding. So, you're gonna torture us? Who can say? We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, we <sighs> humbly invite you to the jail suite. Take them away. Shinigami, oh, great. Love Joe. Huh? Uh, for the doctor's killer? You can't. It's too early. There isn't a single solution. Yeah, we probably haven't you discovered have anything. Now, you won't be able to get out. But we have to. Are you sure? In the end, the only difference is either dying here or in the mystery labyrinth. If I'm going to die anyway, I'd rather- No, stop! stop! Oh. There goes Fuzzhead. Oh, wow. What's going on? That was chief. Yako's voice. Huh? Did the chief just scream? Uh, maybe he found the hitman. But then... This is Rico! Oh shit! Are you doing? Oh god, he's doing something. Find Chief Yako. If we catch the hitman, we can prove our innocence. Hurry, go! Uh, right. Chief. Fubuki, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Bye. Oh huh? Jesus Christ! Chief. Come back, Chief. The doctor. <laughs> Looks like another oh, one of the same you blade that was in the back of the doctor. The hitman. Think the slaughter of Think 
I think he's over think. that away. I need to help you. Leave me here. And kiss some dads. Just seek the truth. You don't quite look injured enough to be dead, so I. No, but he's not. I, I yeah, he's probably not going to die. I think he might be okay. Is going to die soon. What are you talking about? He can't die. This wound is deep. <laughs> yeah, it's he can actually. Even if you administer. He's bleeding out. Now, he has no chance of surviving. Oh yeah, that's a lot of blood actually. Fire. Yeah, that is a lot. I would never lie about a person dying. No, that can't be. Brother, more people Jesus. are going to die if you don't do something now. Uh, yeah, I know, but like... What's going on here? It's not like chasing him down on foot. Like, you're probably gonna get stabbed yourself. Yeah. Please, treat his wound immediately. At this rate, Chief Yago will... So it all comes to an end with some internal strife. Huh? After an internal struggle, Yako Furio was killed by his own people. A pitiful, fitting end for an unjust life. Hey, arrest this fucker we caught red-handed. Well, shit. Please, save Chief Yako. It's just a chance. Please give him a chance to live. Should we? To hell with him. <laughs> He's gonna die either wait, way. Wait, should we save him? He looks kind of cool. I like his hair. Please wait. If you treat him now, he might... Uh, shut up! Why the hell would I help worms like you? <laughs> I was planning on judging you myself, but you went ahead and got yourself killed. How am I supposed to deal with my pent-up justice? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it all! Stop. Brother, Stop! leave him alone. Chief. Even the second time... Second time? Then that means she tried to rewind time by itself. Damn. I rewound time, but it was too late. If only I was strong enough to turn back time even further, I could save Chiviako. What? <laughs> Those responsible for killing the doctor and that piece of trash are under arrest. This case is closed. We're done here. Take them away. Literally the worst mother, <laughs> stupidest motherfucker, laziest motherfucker. Well, now, nah. <laughs> bad ending. <laughs> you fucked it up. What is this glimmer of hope? A coin? Hey, check it out—a quarter. Oh, I love that. Oh, Who's nice. There? Oh, it's Alara, hell yeah, and Vivia Alara too. Alara and Vivia, let's go. There's more than I thought. Hey, Alara, how much must I pay for you to handle my share? <laughs> this level, one hundred shien per head. One hundred shien. With the numbers here, that's enough for an entire book. What a waste. <sighs> Fine. I'll do it myself. This man's about to fucking obliterate. Go on, Vivia. Yeah, good job. How did you all make it down here? It must have been easy as hell to get in here. Yeah, all the security was shut down. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'll go up the Vivia. We're getting out of here. Even fucking, like, Sabuko's holding his own. <laughs> like, Desahiko's fucking holding his own. Look at him go. Oh, yeah, that man's gonna fight people. He's a- he's a rascally one, that one. But well, that's fucking Halara and Vivia fighting, and then like Desahiko's like, I can help, help out. Why the fuck not? Let's do it. Here's my special technique: the leg sweep into a kick in the balls. Let's try, 
Try standing up after that, bitch. I do what only short people can do. I am completely useless. The chief ended up like that. And there was not a thing I could do for him. <sighs> well, you did get us out at least. Oh. Well, I got him. Is everyone safe? Everyone. Except the chief. No! Who is he? He's unconscious. His pulse is weak. Damn. How did this happen to the chief? Yuma, did you see anything? Just some guy in a coat wander yeah. off. I passed a suspicious man when I went into the hallway. But by then, the chief was... A whole... The chief said it was the hitman. Think the slaughter artist. Then, he fell unconscious. So, it's confirmed the oh. hitman got to him. Damn it all! Why attack our chief? I couldn't even pursue him. Because he got in the I way. The hitman, get away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. No, you were right to not pursue him. If you had, you might not be alive right now. You have been big dead. But yeah, real. Save your regrets for later. No, no buts right now, you fuck with. We must consider our next move. Even now. I won't allow time to be wasted. How did things end up like this? Hell yeah. Wow, look at all my friends. Next. You sure seem helpful, don't you? <sighs> it's did okay, you see the way Viv Vivia was moving? Yes. Like during that fucking cutscene? Well yes. Like, yet after images. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder if he's also got some sort of time manipulation thing, or he just moves in slow motion. Or something. You brought me all the way here. Thank you so much. I'm the one who's still inexperienced. He was right there. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, to you could have just taken the blade and chucked it at him. How I don't know. I call myself a detective when I can't even see. Well, maybe a you would have pissed him off. There, there. Right now, you're still a trainee anyway. <laughs> don't worry, you're allowed to suck. Since when are you sorry about shit like that? Vivian. I know, at least she apologized. <laughs> Christ. That's right. I didn't have a choice. Chief's orders. Although, I do feel a sense of wonder at the idea of a secret lamp. I fully intended to take a lazy look world. around the place, but I wasn't given the chance to relax. I was dragged around by Halara and forced to search all over. Jeez. No one will leave me alone. Master, I get the feeling that no. he... Huh? What is it? Nothing. Maybe it's just my imagination. She He's said something what? weird about Should him at the going. end of last chapter, too. Yuma. He's a sussy bucker. I can't handle seeing anyone else covered in blood. Desuhiko, are you alright? Yeah, I'll manage. Someone punched me in the face during that scuffle earlier. They damaged No, my beautiful face! Maker. Damn it! So, what do we do now? I'll beat oh, yeah, the I was shit out of you. I was meant to talk to you. There's this one chick that was really annoyed you kept hitting on her. Yeah. But I gotta tell you to stop. Can't, you don't hit on her anymore, bro. Lara, what brought you here? I was preparing to sneak into that restricted area we discussed. But just as I was about to leave, the chief told me about the death threat. So I headed to Amaterasu. Yeah, all right, nice. And snuck into the lab. After that. The chief told Vivian and I to investigate the area. Uh oh, so you all came in before the blackout then? I didn't think it would end up this way. How did you get in? We should have stayed together as a group. Uh, what's the chief's condition? We've provided first aid, but. Uh, he's gonna we fucking die. die. I'm sorry. I don't know the right lie to tell you at this time. So Yikes. The chief Damn! Damn. A That's a hot life. line. <laughs> We must get him out of here as soon as possible. I don't know which lie to That's tell you at this moment. Task. Fuck. We took out some of the peacekeepers, but many are still around. And Yomi managed to disappear. I wonder if he took advantage of the confusion and ran away. It's yeah, uh, he did. I saw it happen. Retreat. That He'll bitch. He'll return here soon with many more of his underlings. Then we need to leave this facility right away. The gate to the lab has been sealed off. Thanks to that, 
We can't even leave the building. The elevator to the ground level has been disabled too. We have no place to run. No place to run? Well, fuck! Chief. Uh, probably gonna be mystery labyrinth destination Chief, soon, but breathing, yeah. But he's lost a lot of blood. We haven't done a, a proper investigation of the what scene, that though. Looks like. It's the same as every other victim you've seen. It's not the same. I won't let it be the same. <sighs> what are you gonna do, brother? Hey, you got a minute? We can't stay here forever. We have to take a chance and try busting through the front gates. I can't agree to that. Wagering on a bet you have no chance of winning is the same as throwing the match. So you'd rather keep waiting until peacekeepers break down the door? Right. We can use Fubuki's thing. Huh? Mine? Really? I am not sure it is worthy of showing Her penis? Yet. I've no clue where your head's at, but I'm talking about your thing! Your forte! If we use that, we can get through the gate without being spotted by the peacekeepers! Even if they catch us, you what? can just turn back time! Brother... <laughs> Impossible. The gate can't be unlocked except from the outside. A peacekeeper has to make a call on the intercom to get them to open it. They would never let us through. That won't change no matter how many times you try. Then what about Desuhiko's disguise forte? If he looks like a peacekeeper, maybe he can get us through the gate. I thought about that too, but my bag is outside the gate. The shorty detective. Well, that was fucking stupid, wasn't it? We can never help when we need him most. <laughs> maybe we have no choice but to force our way through. But they said it was Don't locked. Rush to conclusions. The roulette has yet to stop. Until it does, we must consider the best course of action. The best course? I don't know. Okay. Well, now I'm at a loss again. It may be suicidal, but it's better than staying here like this. We gotta force our way through the front. Damn it! If we don't hurry, the chief is gonna... Hmm. <sighs> How did it end up like this? We just happened to appear at the scene of the doctor's murder. Yes, that's it! Huh? Oh? The peacekeepers made up their minds that we're responsible for killing Dr. Weska. They don't think the hitman even existed in the first place. So what? Proving that doesn't help us in this situation at all. But what if we proved our innocence? What if we could prove this was done by the hitman? The peacekeepers would have no reason to apprehend us. Maybe, but still. How do you intend on proving our innocence? Don't tell me you're gonna catch that hitman and turn him over to the peacekeepers. That's impossible. He's probably already escaped by now. Then we gotta investigate it. We have to investigate the doctor's lab and gather evidence of the hitman. But how are we gonna get there? That's crazy talk. How do you plan on investigating under these circumstances? Besides, Proving our innocence doesn't guarantee the peacekeepers will suddenly let us go. This facility is already restricted. They could make up any reason they want to arrest us. That's you true, actually. See how they act for a while. Yeah. That may be true, but but we're detectives, aren't we? We have to stand up to them the only way we can. When all hope seems lost, that's exactly the moment to fight back as detectives. We must obtain the truth uh, sure. and use it against the peacekeepers. I agree with you, Mom. Alara! It's true. Detectives should use the truth as their weapon of choice. I didn't expect to hear that from you, Yuma. You sure have grown. <laughs> but how do we even We got nothing else. This place is crawling yeah. with peacekeepers outside this room. Still, it's not impossible. We have someone with the best forte for this situation. Huh? Oh. Could it be Vi Vivia? What is your forte, brother? Well, go on, spill. Vivia, will tell you us tell me about your forte. <sighs> I just remembered. I heard rumors about him back at the WDO. Vivia Twilight can supposedly solve crimes in his sleep. In his sleep? It's not a big deal. My condition lets me do detective work while sleeping. Kind of like how some people sneeze differently than others. What? <laughs> In my case, 
Achoo! Just get to the point. We're running out of time. Can you or can't you do this investigation? Oh, the point? Well, oh. the point is that the end Fuck. of the rainbow is an ancient battlefield. Hey, can I okay. punch you just this once? Get him, tiny man! <laughs> you and I are on the exact same page right now. <laughs> Get him, tiny man! Fuck yeah! If I skip tiny much, man, let's go. Reading the first and final page of a novel won't give you any notion about the story. I don't want to hear about some story. Tell us about your forte! I'll explain. His forte is spectral projection. He can control his own ethereal self. Ethereal self. Can he fly? I suppose I should call it a soul or a ghost. He is yes. not confined by the laws of Damn. physics, which means he That's can hot. pass through walls and floors. And all the while, other people cannot see him. In other words, you can turn yourself into a ghost? So you can investigate without being seen by the peacekeepers. <sighs> I won't do it. Huh? Why not? Now's not the time to back down. I'm not asking you to read the room or whatever, but at least do something for your friends here. You think I don't care about my friends? I've made my decision because I care for all of you. You're all determined to fight. But don't you think it'd be better to do as the peacekeepers say in this case? And get arrested? And get arrested? Get Chief Yako medical Jinx? attention in exchange for surrendering. Don't you think... That's the highest chance of survival out of all our options. So I think they're pretty intent to shooting all of us. Kidding. Don't you have any pride as a detective? Not at all. Well, all right, sure was blunt. Clinging to pride is why conflict will never vanish from this world. I hate conflict. I'd rather live in a quiet and peaceful world. Butterflies cross the lake. And snowy flowers conceal the moon. I simply wish to sleep soundly. Mm. And, and the Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Now shut the is fuck it up. Such a crime <laughs> to hold this small wish. I'm legit thinking about that. If no one else is willing to say it, then I will warn you. It's a sin to waste such a talent given to you. You'll be condemned straight to hell, bitch. You are skilled as a detective. However, you lack the willpower to make use of it. Why is that? Are you afraid of something? Or perhaps you are laughing at the rest of us. I'm happy to hear you have such high regard for me, Halara. But you're simply overestimating me. I didn't become a detective because I wanted to be. And as to whether or not I'm afraid, I would say that I may be. When you desire cool. something, you're afraid of losing it. And yet, why does everyone continue to have desires? Is the truth even worth it? It's no use. Man, shut up. I thought he was incomprehensible, but he's actually completely bonkers. Look at the chief. He's dying here. Doesn't it hurt your soul even a little? I can't believe you'd go and spout all this nonsense right he's now. He's jealous. I apologize if I've offended you. Don't worry. I'll stop talking. As usual, I'll simply go to a dark place out of sight, out of mind. Faster! You gotta stop him! Vivia, please, don't let him wait. disappear. I don't uh. understand what you're saying, but I know we need your help right now. If you say you won't cooperate with the investigation, I don't mind. But in exchange, will you please... Oh, you I can please? share it! Are you trying to make up? I don't remember us fighting to begin with. No. Don't worry about it, man. Borrow your power. Huh. This is your coalescence, is it? You knew when we're just playing dumb? Hmm. Yes. Well, if I it's am dumb. just <laughs> holding hands, I don't mind. I have no reason to decline. <laughs> Yeah, we can do it all for you, Vivia. What is this sensation? I knew it already, but this guy is strange. Strange? Yeah, he is kind of a weird person. That's not what I meant. So you can. You're gonna have to be a little more detailed. 
if so. Ah, even she's afraid. Like, I know she doesn't like him, but that's pretty funny. When using my forte, your body will act as though you're asleep. You better lay down before you begin. All right. Let's just rest against the cupboards and have a nap. You'll be defenseless while using it, so be careful. That's... Why didn't you just use the chairs? Here, so. Yeah, They're right know. there. <laughs> also, your ghost form doesn't mean you're completely safe from harm. Hey, Yuma. Do you think you can do it? I don't know, but I'll try. Can you watch over my body in the meantime? Uh, yeah, you can count on me. Go and investigate to your heart's content. We'll handle things here. Understood. There's not much time. I need to proceed with the investigation and get everyone out of here. I have to do this for Chief Yako. All right. It's ghosty time. Hell and you yeah. can see it. Well, she it's so weird ghost. that she can see it. So I know, but I still think it's kind of weird. It's Hell yeah. To see myself outside of my own body. And my light-up sketches are fucking awesome, Ow, still. Wait, it didn't hurt, but it feels like I bumped into something. Is it because I've become a spirit like you, Shinigami? Looks like I can smack you directly now. I'm loving this. Damn. This makes what if I smack you I'm back? I'm going back. Really uneasy. Lucky for you, I'm here. Now we're literally soulmates. Good one. He doesn't seem too dissuaded by that. He's fine. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. He should be. All dissuaded. right, That's let's. A shitty fucking joke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're soulmates. <laughs> Thanks. You know what? I'm going back in. Fuck this. I'm done. You know what? Bro. Fuck it. Where's my body? Fuck the detect. Fuck. Fuck the investigation. Fuck the chief. Me 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 me. So we're gonna be a ghosty boy. His soul has uh. probably left his body about now. Huh? Really? He doesn't look all that different to me. Looks like Desuhiko can't see me. I'm sure I can investigate without the peacekeeper spotting me now. By the way, Yuma, I'm sure you're hovering right above the floor near us. You're only doing so subconsciously. Right now, you're truly free from the shackles of the laws of physics. Similarly, it may at first be difficult to pass through a wall, Due to the preconceived notion that you'll be blocked. But just walk straight through it, it's no big deal. Try passing through a door. Your consciousness views doors innately as passageways. <laughs> and we couldn't program you to walk through walls, Why that's too hard. Try it out? I'm passing through the door. You and I are the same now, Master. Oh. How are you doing, Fubuki? Yeah. Okay. I made it! Whoa. Yeah, the boy. <laughs> you really made it! This means I can freely go in and out of places I couldn't before. And I won't die from toxic gas! So the hallway is brightly lit now. Seems like the regular power switched back on. Anyway, we got to investigate. Which means we're murders. totally fucked. We need to hurry up before more peacekeepers arrive. Yep! Hysterical! And then we'll get caught, and then probably... Oh. I walked, like, oh. two feet. What are... They're lost, wandering souls. They're your natural enemies while you're in ghost form. Is this what Vivi <laughs> was warning us about? I see this shit There's all the time! Of... Just be careful, There's a lot of dead people down here, what so, uh... What if I do? You'll watch out. <laughs> I can't wait to see that! Why are you excited about that? Anyway... Let's be careful and make sure not to Bitch. touch them. Time for the tutorial. Dr. West, get to Dr. West with Critical Lab and watch out for the wandering souls. So be careful. Right, let's hurry. So just don't touch the ghosts. But isn't this the right well, way? Well, oh. 
I think he's kind of blocking it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Guess I can go this way. No, I can't. Uh, maybe there's a door somewhere. What the? You good, brother? Can I go yeah, under this man? Hmm. I think, yeah, that must be the only <gasps> option. Okay. Like this is stupid. <laughs> it's like a fucking yeah, I know. security system or whatever. Yeah, it's very, this. very dumb. Go there. See, this is, it's like I kind of <laughs> go. Yeah, I. Uh, you you have a you have a delay. You you that you, that will not be helping me. Yes. Yep. Ooh. Okay, I can definitely get through here, though. Left. Is there a guy above me? No. Don't! Although, I guess I can just do this. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I just got respawned. That's funny. I have a sly headache. The fuck? What the? I didn't touch him! What kind of hitbox is that? I will kill you. I will kill you myself. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, I'll kill that's you again. the thing that got me in the floor. Okay. Huh? Just a bit Good. more. Alright, okay, I gotta go this way. Just a little bit further. How can I get through? Should I follow those guys? It's a bit of a risk, but I think that's the only way in. The weird dance. I think I'm safe right here. Uh. <laughs> Uh. Oh, maybe wow. I should go past this guy on the floor. Oh. Okay, so he's like portaling it. Got it. Huh. <laughs> Wait. Bless. Thank you. Okay. Bless. Um. Man. Hey Shinigami, can you like box the fuck out of these ghosts for yeah, me? Yeah, can you just like punch them or something? I don't know if I can go under this man. It feels like I should. Uh, maybe. I guess it. Uh, is there like a slight. Oh, he's moving. Hold on. If I do this, I can get to this corner, have a little bit of a better look. I guess I can just go straight through. I was really sweating. Yeah, I was definitely sweating as a ghost. Yeah. For some reason, it does like some of her sprites. I I think have sweat on them, so she's just oh, a here. ghost that can sweat. I hope there's no one inside. Okay. That makes fuck logical I sense, definitely. It's a matter of how I feel. Even if they can't see me, it'd make me uneasy if peacekeepers were there. <laughs> so? You're a pussy, we know. I'm already used 
to it, so I didn't notice. Nobody's here. I guess the peacekeepers have better stuff to do than investigate after all that happened. Yeah, they already ruled it your fault, so... The doctor's body is still here. Maybe the doctor's soul is still floating around here, unable to pass on. I just scared myself! Hey, if we meet the doctor's soul, <laughs> what the hell is that? What happened? This may be weird coming from me, but I doubt it'll be that easy. I guess so. Uh -huh. We'll just have to take this one step at a time. Investigation begin. Finally. Master, don't rush things. Oh, what? Okay, I guess we should check the monitor. The intercom is connected to the doctor's lab. I spoke to Dr. Weska a few times over this. We were talking on the intercom when the incident started. Dr. Weska, I'll come get you. Yeah, so our witness is security on your end. Huh? What? The? Dr. Weska, what's wrong? Wait, who are you? Help! Somebody, come help me! D doctor, doctor! Don't die! Dr. He's dead. By someone. That means the intruder was- I feel a knife inside. in my back! <laughs> so it has to have been the hitman. How did he get inside? The security system was still active, so it should have been impossible to enter. This is kind of a hard shot. How did the killer get in? And where did he go after murdering the doctor? This is the airlock. Right. Let's check it out in case there are any clues. I mean, these vents. This is the decontamination device. If toxic gas. So yeah, the decontamination the chamber, device. This device is supposed to ensure it doesn't spread. What's inside the vents? I want to scope it out further, but I'm too short. Master, Can't you fly? Did you forget you're a ghost right now? Oh right! I can just do this. Wee! I'm floating. Whoa! No kidding. This spectral projection is such a convenient forte. If that anemic vampire joined the investigation from the start, this could have gone much faster. Maybe, but there's no point. He looks kind of jacked to me, but the vent is a cover with bars on it. It looks hollow inside, but it's too dark to say for certain. The cover has a hinge on it. It looks like it can be easily opened. Look in. Well, he can't interact oh, with that's it. That's right. I can't touch it since I'm a ghost right now, but there's no need to open yeah, Shove your head in. Yeah, I guess I he can just go straight stick through. my head inside. Hey. There you go. There's oh. a lot of space in here. Hey, maybe this was the way out. So wait, maybe this goes. must have come through here. So that's it, right? That solves everything. This is the main part sure. of the decontamination device. Except for that. During decontamination, the fins rotate to suck out air. The structure isn't built for someone to get inside. It's designed to filter air and nothing else. This couldn't be used as an escape route. Well, having an easy escape out of a lot of Are we looking for an like infiltration route first and foremost? How's that? Because it'd ruin the whole thing! <laughs> what was that? Fuck, wrong thing. Having an easy escape route is like covering a pizza and anchovies. Sure. Okay, got it. Yeah. Easy to open yeah. And close. There's no harm in remembering this. It could be a clue for something else. Yeah. This way. Okay, see else we got. Anything else? Uh. We've arrived. It's the dangerous toxic gas chamber. Once it detects an yeah. Intruder, it'll pop out toxic gas. It's a room with a terrifying contraption. Well, it's disarmed, so there's nothing to worry about. Also, you're a ghost, so it wouldn't detect you anyway. Let's check this out too. Yeah, big creation on me being a fucking ghost. So this is where the toxic gas comes out. It's supposed to be super fatal, right? Yeah, the toxic gas Mega is fatal. So regular gas masks aren't supposed to work against it. Even if you hold your breath, it'll be absorbed through the skin. And there is no treatment for it in the world. The bacteria takes time to spread through Whoa, your that's body, fucked. And you'll supposedly oh. die after about 30 minutes. So you need a spacesuit to move through here safely. Lines up. Such a scary trap. Whoever invented it won't have a peaceful death. Wait, that already happened. Yeah. They're 
doesn't nice seem to one. be a secret exit, which makes sense as it defeats the purpose of having a toxic gas chamber. If that's the case, how did the intruder get through the chamber? Right now, I have no idea. Let's go to the next one. Okay. And we've arrived at the last room, the panel chamber. There are nine panels divided in a three by three grid. And you must step on them in the order that the doctor sat. Make one mistake, and you get sucked with high voltage. The high voltage isn't high just high voltage. We've seen what happened to Amapel. Da, 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 da. Since security is disarmed at the moment. Also, you're still a ghost master. Yep. I keep forgetting that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we got a vent here. This is the decontamination device in the panel chamber. It looks like it's here to purify any toxic gas that escapes from the chamber next door. But the cover doesn't open and close like the decontamination device in the airlock. There's no way someone can fit through. So it doesn't open, it just sucks the air through. I see. Oh, and then we gotta check by the button. And here's what all that security was protecting. Pressing the switch opens the door to the doctor's lab. We managed to get this far earlier, thanks to Amapel and Fubuki's forte. Hmm, I see it all, like it's flashing right before my eyes. Looks like this is it, my man. Hurry up and hit that switch. I don't need a flashback. <sighs> oh yeah, I guess I need to pull back. Now we can... Yep. I remember the trouble you had waiting for the door to open. It opens really slowly, and we also had to retract Amapel's arm. We tried to hurry inside, but Amapel suddenly fell over. There were no yeah, so what happened? Was there an obstacle? So okay, so no. I'm sure it was someone was just like, eh. That has to be it. Yeah, someone lightly touched it. Yeah, someone just kind of punted it. Punted it. And then... Are here. No need to worry about it. They can't Shush. see it It still feels pretty weird. Well, they're slacking <laughs> off. <so. laughs> uh, there's a small vent. vent here. It's not large enough for a person to get through. Yeah, no, ain't nobody getting and in there. The cover is fixed in place. The only culprits who could get through here would be fairies or gnomes. Gnomes? I'm not even sure a gnome could fit through there. This Wait, are you telling me gnomes exist? By the way, do you know anything about this dead old guy? Yeah, I worked security here. The geezer was famous in the worst possible way. He took advantage of people for his research and didn't care how many were sacrificed. He seemed to have gotten even more and more arrogant over the last few years. Three years ago, the higher-ups canned his big project. He lived as a shut-in after that. A big project? Is it mm -hmm. the same one Makoto mentioned? He was part of a big project that was cancelled in the past. He's shut himself in here ever since. There's really no way to verify- oh, What a little douchebag. Sounds bag. like the exact same thing. <laughs> the old man was hard of hearing, so he couldn't really hear what anyone said. When it comes to other people, their words literally fell on deaf ears. And that being said, he could read lips. Read oh, lips? Interesting. So we watched someone's mouth to figure out what they were saying? Lip reading? So that explains what he said back then. Who the hell are you? I refuse to speak with any disrespectful hoodlums. Yep, take Either off your take mask. Take off your mask or present someone whose mouth I can view. Back then, the doctor refused to talk with Makoto. It was because he couldn't read his lips due to the mask he wore. Between you and me, that's a weird note. About the old man but he must have heard. The e I mean, unless he just saw him in his what peripherals, I guess. Yeah, I wanna know. He said he shut himself in here for research. He was plotting something bad. And what's that? He was planning to flee from Kanai Ward. <laughs> That's stupid. Something Is bad. Impossible. Well, it's just a rumor. After what happened, we'll never know. Uh -huh. So he was planning to flee the city. I guess that's what the geezer was up to. Master, looks like you got some nice and kind of fucking into a ghost. ultimate master strategy do you have to Trying have to, to get out of here? Ward would be considered we came in via train. Corporation. Did the hitman go after him because of this? 
But well, maybe he has to get out secretly because they want yeah. him to do research. Well, yeah, and yeah, just said it would be like betraying the corporation. But I guess. But I mean, like once you're out, who's gonna chase you? Can I check the laundry room? Yo, did he do laundry? Okay, there's his notebook. What else can we look at? Food cabinet. There's canned food and water bottles here. This all looks like food. There isn't much left. The guy wasn't right in the head if he was surviving for months on such plain food. Yeah, it's fairly strange. He never even ate a single meat bun. What's up with that, huh? He's got a kitchen. He never got to experience the joys. There's my I'm a pal. Is still here. I did promise to return it. Huh? What's this? Looking at it carefully. There's oh, there's the footmark. Of its head. Is that a huh. footprint of the guy who sh fucking sh kicked it in the head? I don't remember seeing this mark when we sent Amapel into the airlock. Could it have been from back then? When we tried to enter the lab, Amapel fell over. The incorporate kicked it. It must have left a mark. You did it, Master. A flat I mark. All that's left is to figure out how the culprit managed to get through that perfect security. That's the biggest mystery here. Yeah, if it were that easy, I would have fucking done it already. Dude, his bed is cracked. Holy shit. Damn. Okay, so there's his That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it is. Alright, beer fridge. The oh, medicine here cabinet. appears to be chemicals. There are symbols on each label. The one on the front is... H2O, S-O... P. Oh, I know P. this symbol. It's probably For sulfuric, sulfuric acid. acid. It's a highly acidic oh. that can melt anything. Sulfuric acid. I better not touch it then. Then again, right. I can't touch anything right now. Cool. There are other places... Yeah, Detective's you gotta keep epic setup. Myself, you? The screen looks like it's in sleep mode. I'm sure it contains the screens, some data, plural. But I can't touch it in ghost form. I wish there was a way to check it out. It's so sad when you can't touch anyone. I totally know the feeling. I get it. Yeah, I'm sure. You just gotta give up. There's an open the doctor's notebook, notebook on the desk. Does it have to do with the doctor's mm. research? It contains symbols and diagrams. It's all written in it braille. Like he's splashing liquid on someone. What does it mean? <laughs> Wait, he's throwing Doc. He's throwing Dr. Pepper on people to see their reactions. Back there. I knew it. It's the symbol for sulfuric acid. Just if kidding. That's the case. Was he trying to splash acid on people? Sulfuric acid. I don't think he was trying. I probably was. Why would the doctor want to do that? Because he's a pervy old guy. All right, dead body. Uh, let's look at his corpse. Doctor Weska, I never even got to. He's ask so him dead. Do I? And now he's dead. He has three wounds on his back. A knife is still stuck in one of them. He doesn't appear to have any other injuries. It's safe to assume this was the cause of death. <laughs> I'm like an awesome detective's assistant. Thanks. You've been a great help. Yeah, you know, you're an assistant at best. Yeah. You can be the assistant. No! Just not the murderer. I will not compliment you more. Right? Knife is using murder. murder weapon. It has a unique, unique shape, and it's rusted to shit. There's an inscription on it. I can see the letter there is. F. Hey, shouldn't we move the corpse out of here soon? They're always telling us to clear out corpses quickly since the rain makes them rot so fast. Nah, we leave it alone until we receive further orders. Did you see There's no rain in here, dickhead. Yeah. It's the one Only sulfuric the acid. Uses, right? I've heard oh, the F is for Fink. With the letter F. They say that's his proof to his clients that he was the one who got the job done. So Fink the slaughter artist really killed the doctor? I thought those detectives did. Either way, it doesn't matter. Hey, don't you think a knife from a famous hitman would go for a high price? Nice. Huh? You thinking of stealing evidence? You better not keep it all for yourself. So that unique knife. Give me some, bro. The <laughs> artist. 
Dude, save some for me. So the doctor was in fact killed by Fink? The knife with the letter F. That's safe to assume, but... Right on. That should be enough. Hey, didn't it? Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. End. End investigation. That should Finish. be the investigation. Taking a look around, there aren't any hidden exits or hiding spots. Yeah. The only entrance and exit is that door. There isn't even a single window. There's a small vent, but it's not big enough to fit through. And the cover is fixed in place. There are no suspicious spots on the walls, floor, or ceiling. And no secret passages either. And even if you got through the door, there's the dangerous security system. Yeah. So how did the culprit manage to enter the lab? It's the perfect he hid in the cabinet for three months. Even if it's impossible, I have to solve it. For the chief's sake and everyone else. For now, let's head back to the security room. I need to tell everyone about what I found. Personally, I want you to gain the willpower to solve it on your own. Yeah, yeah but I gotta report my <laughs> investigation to my friends. Stop being a pussy. Do it yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Let me through. I had to make it a cutscene. Do I have to fucking... Hopefully not. <laughs> ah! Uh, oh. Hey, mm. buddy. Hello. What's the matter, Vivia? Why are you in your ghost form? I was wondering how your investigation was going. I... grew curious. Did you come to help? I didn't expect your cooperation. <sighs> Still, thank you. It's what the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Wait, Master. You shouldn't trust him. He's plotting something. What could he be plotting? Aren't you overthinking things? So, what will you do now? Are you still going to pursue the truth? Huh? Why wouldn't I? I finished investigating the crime scene, so I was about to head back and report to everyone. We need to find the truth. Otherwise, the chief won't get treated, and everyone will be captured. I see. So you won't be satisfied until you discover the truth. What do you mean? Master, yeah. something. Shut up. Tell me, Yuma. Why do you seek the truth? Huh? I don't know, because it's fun. We have to find the truth to fight the peacekeepers. Well, the truth is like cracks in a mirror. They're all so small. You must <laughs> the truth is like crack. See each tiny crack. Most the crack they're putting in the ramen. They think the world reflected in the mirror. Is Imagine chapter itself. five is all about the mister. The the final chapter is about the ramen noodles. <laughs> if you did, that would be kind of high. I'd be down for that. <laughs> to reveal what the real world actually looks like, even if the moment the mirror is destroyed. It changes the world people can see forever. What, what are you talking about? And if shattering the mirror reveals nothing... Man, you've read too many chaos. fucking, like, fantasy novels, my guy. You need a... He's read too many like, of your books. <laughs> no, no, you, you've read too much of The Protector, my guy. But I know that... <laughs> the Protector isn't that deep, bro. You need to start analyzing it, okay? <laughs> Swear to God. You still seek the truth. If always is covered in darkness. We need the truth to save Chief Yako and everyone from the agency. Everyone, including you, of course. I just want to help others. Bro, don't stand like that. Your back's gonna suffer. And for that, your posture is terrible. What will you sacrifice? How much have you already sacrificed? Well, I have amnesia for oh. one. I bet you're the type who's willing to sacrifice yourself for the truth. One day, it will ruin you. You will destroy the world for truth's sake. Get that shit out of here. I don't care, dog. Destroy the world? That's impossible. I can barely solve no, mysteries. You've already stepped one foot into ruin. In fact, 
It's already up to your neck. If possible, I don't believe I'd like you. to help you. You are a dear friend to me. How about it? It's not too late. Why not turn back? How this about path? it, dear friend? I'll show you all of Trent's novels. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you all the work in progress. The work's in progress. Everyone. Never mind. We need to report. I, I hacked and stole his hard drive. <laughs> I have access to everything. Even the ones from when he was like 15 in high school. <sighs> I know, they're so crazy. So you refuse to understand. You leave me no choice. What does that mean? What are you gonna do, brother? Vivia? Ah, oh, a box play. cutter. This guy is I usually keep this in a my ghost pocket. box cutter. It's not real. Like the ghost form. It's just a reflection of reality. Don't stab so me, dog. Slashing at you won't do anything. But I warned you, didn't I? While you're in ghost form, your physical body is oh, fuck. vulnerable. You mean I was simply returned to my body five seconds before you do, and then you casually threatening to murder me is not really like, damn that's familiar with spectral projection I'm positive I can return to my body before you can well will you give up now uh, are you threatening me I only want you to give up on the truth what the fuck do you think he's doing the truth you wish to expose is dangerous I have a feeling a feeling that our peace and quiet will be pulled We never right really had peace and quiet. Feet. If you won't stop, then I must stop you. For this world's sake. For the sake of peace and quiet. You're not making any sense. You're gonna kill me because of a feeling? I don't want it to end this way. I thought we could talk it out. You're so That's confusing, my guy. But you refuse to give up, which leaves me with no choice. So it looks like this is what I must do. Farewell, Yuma. W wait, Master, hurry back! Now I'm I'm hurrying. Hey, you yep. two, quit fighting. Who is that? What? Yeah, it's the chi It's the ghost of the cool. chief. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. That voice. Or something. Chief Yago? But you know what? Turning your eyes away from the truth and living a lie is harsh too. In the end, you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. Well, at least this so is a way to confirm he's actually fucking so dead. About it. When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way. Even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. Chief Yako, are you alright? Where are you? Impossible. There's no way he could have made it here with those wounds. Then that voice... Perhaps it was his soul's voice as it separated from his body. That means... No way. Is he dead? I don't know. We need to find out. Don't stand there, Yuma! Vivia tried to kill me. Why would he do such a thing? As of now, the time to be dwelling on that. Yeah, real. You're right. Chief Yaku is the main concern right now. Not whatever's going on with Vivia. Not Vivia's weird death death threats. <laughs> is he dead? Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Ah, fuck. Popular sport. Chief Yako! It appears his soul hasn't been severed yet. It's still connected to his body. But the line is very thin. It could cut away any moment now. Then why did we hear Chief Yako's voice back there? I don't know. It cool. seems there are many more mysterious things in this world that I don't know about. Well, 
Since he went through the trouble of risking his life to give us a lecture, I wish well, he was my easy. light. When you're lost, you should believe in your own heart. Vivia, I still have a lot I need to say to you, but solving this your case bitch. is top priority. This is the only way to save Chief Yako and everyone else. Hmm. Fine. You can report to them once you return to your body. I have somewhere else to go. Where are you going? After hearing the Chief's words, I just remembered. There's something I need to do. What's that? I have a premonition. In exchange okay. for obtaining the truth, I sense that our peace and quiet will crumble away. But perhaps something entirely new lies beyond that destruction. In order to discover what that may be, I want to continue my investigation for a bit longer. What, like, fucking... What, like, layer beneath... Like, what kind of crazy investigation is this man conducting right now? It's not that I want the truth. No I idea. I need to find an answer I can agree to with confidence. I still don't understand most of what you say, but... Now I know we feel the same way about this. Let's investigate this together. As you wish. Master, well, I guess I'm easy. still here. You can't erase <laughs> the fact that he flashed a blade at you. I know. I'm not that naive. Yeah, in, in our shadow <laughs> forms. And our ghost oh, fucking... Always so trusting and relying on others. I still have a bad feeling about this. That guy is dangerous. Yeah, why the fuck? Yeah, of course we are. We got a contract with I you, bitch. I believe that it'll be alright now. Is it like Chief Yako about to fucking die? That should be so ineffective at a time like this. Don't worry, it's fine. Oh no. Well, at least you guys are trying. Chief Yako, so dead. <laughs> He's so dead. He's so fucked. All right, what's the deal here? Maybe we yeah. What we, the fuck we, is we, going we, on? Like we have, we know it's Fink the Slaughter Man, but we don't know who that is. We have no suspects right now. Yeah. We we have no details about it, like. But if I let Vivia go alone now, I get the sense we'll never come to an understanding. I'm sure Vivia has seen something. That's why he's afraid of the truth. I also want to see what he sees. It may help me understand better. Are you all right? Did his cryptic way of talking infect you? I hope this isn't a side effect of your coalescence. <sighs> I said I'd continue the investigation. Oh fuck, I just realized I have no clue what I what to do. I thought you already had a What's a detective I'm a again? No. Fucking idiot. You don't, huh? If you have any expectations for my actions, then you're in for a disappointment. I'm good at avoiding trouble. Nice. But I'm terrible at handling it. I try to stay still and just let things pass. That's the kind of human I am. We've noticed. Yeah. Allows him to investigate without moving an inch. Thank you for your commentary. So, what have you learned about Dr. Huesca's death? He was stabbed three times. Um, well, I gathered some clues, but I still have no idea how the culprit entered the area. There are only two reasons a mystery goes unsolved. Either there's not enough information, <laughs> or you're just not an idiot. Enough smarts. There's no point in crying over the ladder. Which means... <laughs> Can't do anything about that! thing we can do. Should we search the scene one last time? No. No, the brother. The missing piece might not always be at the crime scene. It could have been launched far away. Like pieces of shattered glass. Yeah, like who came in it with could a have space been blown up? I'll let you be our guide here. Uh, but... I'd like to request minimal movement, the shortest possible distance. You really are Master, useless. Are you sure there could be another key to the mystery somewhere else? No, but that's why we have to find out because there's a possibility. We're investigating the actual crime scene, so it could be a good idea to search elsewhere. We can use spectral projection to enter anywhere and look. All right. We don't have much time. Can I use spectral to projection to go back up to the first floor? Just barge in and check everything. 
All right, well, don't gotta tell me. Yeah, this. I mean, that's kind of all we can do. <gasps> Who's the nurse? <laughs> Yo, who are you? I told you, it's just storage. They keep it locked up. Oh, researcher. She's a scientist. Still hot. Among us researchers, we treat it as perpetually sealed off. Well, I'm so you just don't go right in. Now. We need to see if the detectives are hiding inside. Um, the only key is held by the peacekeeper's director. So what the hell is in there? Director Yomi has it. Aren't there any other storage? Keys? No, the peacekeeper's director personally manages this area, so he has the only key. I see. Guess we don't need to look inside. This conversation never happened. Right. <coughs> <laughs> this man. Only the director has the key to this. I believe you. There's gotta be some kind of secret here. Right. Let's take a look inside. Hell yeah! Fucking I'm going in, bitches. Rain. It's just like his porn stash. It's definitely his porn stash. <laughs> what are you looking at so closely over there? Fuck, man. I've read this book before. Like, man. Yo, this one's kind of fire. Nurse porn? That's what I'm talking about. No, that's what I'm talking about. Junk and experimental tools. I guess this has nothing to do with the incident. Nothing here seems to pertain to homunculus research or an Iward's ultimate secret. I mean, I'm trying to investigate the murder, but sure. How do you know that? There's a section with a missing file. He probably already disposed of anything he didn't want others to see. The secret we're looking for won't be here anymore. So, the evidence has already been destroyed. After we finally found the secret lab, too. What a letdown. Yeah, they're, they're, they're on it. Well, there's still something to check. I'll find out for you. You're not helping. Like, this fucking... The most... Basic setup in existence. Huh? There's a folder on the desk. The desk is covered in dust, but the folder isn't. Amaterasu lab map. Huh. I guess it's a map. But I have that in the corner of my well, screen. I, uh, it's empty inside. There's nothing else here. Seems like we weren't able to find anything of note. Shame. What about all these drugs? I was hoping this suspicious experimental lab would have a hidden passage. It really is just storage. For now, yeah. let's finish our investigation here and go to another room. Such a pain. But I guess we have to. Shit, I just fucking popped right out. This is the central. In we go. What the? Central lab. Shut up. I'm trying to look around. It, this room. Eavesdrop. You went inside Dr. Weska's lab before, right? Yeah, just once. I was forced to help deliver some food. Today. I was his Uber driver. I think it was about three months ago. And he's been shut in there since, right? I'd go insane. But the doctor was famous for being antisocial. It was probably the perfect environment for him. Still, this is a bit extreme for the sake of avoiding people. Anyway, when I brought in the food, he made me check inside those boxes repeatedly to make sure no what? one was inside. How big were the Not boxes? There was any space for someone to hide in. The guy was just paranoid like that. Weird. But all right. Was this large machine? This machine is made for something to be placed inside. No idea what it's used for. If only weren't a ghost for him, you could touch and find out. I'm not going in there. They may break it. <laughs> Some sort of machine. But I have no Jeez, idea what it's for. Fuck. Why I'm related to the case. Oh yeah. Another machine. Definitely gonna be brought up later. Uh, that's the, the, homo like the homunculi people destroyer. Yeah. I'm not excited at all. Doesn't look like it's been used recently. Probably unrelated to the case, but might be related to homunculus. Is 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 
Whoa, a floor, uh, some fucking stairs? Oh, hell yeah. It says this is the electrical room. Maybe we can find the reason for the blackout here. Let's check it out. I mean, that is incredibly suspicious. Uh, it's way bigger than we saw what we saw in the lab. The blackout would have only lasted for a few seconds, and uh, the blackout, we know, didn't take down the security for the professor's room because it was on a separate power system. So the blackout had no effect on his security. If this was shut down, there'd be a power outage in the lab. All the power to the lab seems to be managed here. Whoops. Wait. I don't see a switchboard for Dr. Wesker's Reed. lab. That reminds me. Dr. Wesker said the critical lab was on an independent system. This critical lab operates on a separate power system. That obviously includes its security measures. So, that the blackout would have no effect. Different response from Vivian. Maybe he's bored with the. No, he's solving it in his head right now. He's going big brain mode. It's big brain time. It's really true. I saw someone suspicious right here. What? Where? <laughs> Before or after the blackout? Uh, right after the blackout. I happened to be nearby when the lights went out. So I came here to turn the power back on, and I saw a dark silhouette. I hate when people say I happened to be nearby when. That doesn't really tell me much. I mean, I guess it makes sense for at least one person to Please have witnessed it. Me. It must have been the hitman. So someone suspicious was wandering around here right after the blackout. Does that mean it was caused by the hitman? Why would he do that? Make a distraction, oh, I don't know. Man. Fuck. Okay. There's a, this... What about you, Sorry buddy? about threatening you with the blade earlier. I was so scared. Oh, sure. I thought you were going to kill me. Whatever. You weren't serious, were you? Why wouldn't I be? Huh? To tell the truth? I don't joke. I wouldn't know if I'd actually slash your throat until I was about to do it. Although, By the way, I was joking the whole the time. So, you were serious? I don't want to kill anyone if possible. I don't like seeing blood, but yes. This I man is serious. weird. This guy is dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Man, whatever. I don't like this guy. <laughs> is that everything I saw? I think that's everything. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, how dare you yeah. say that about me? I think we didn't find any clues here. No, but it's it's good to get detective points and to maybe I like keep shit for lighters. Oh, he's dropped. Hey, is it true that Dr. Wesco was killed? Yeah. Just like that note said. But why send a death threat? It'd be a lot easier to take someone out if you don't announce it. Before. I mean, that man wasn't going anywhere. It's a hitman we're talking about. Maybe it's his policy or something. That's a good point. What was the purpose of sending that note? Plus, not only was it sent to the targets, the doctor, it was also sent to the peacekeepers and our detective agency. As a prank. Yeah, just increased security around here, making it even harder for the hitman to do his job. According to my research about Fink, the slaughter artist, he's never sent a note like that in his previous uh. cases. At the very least, it was not his M.O. So, this time is special? Well, who knows? I mean, he could have had a uh, conspirator as well. An accomplice. Oh! You know... Okay, now I've seen everything. So if I pass through here. Come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Shut up. Don't rush me. This is the robot lab where we picked up Amapel. Okay. The weird doctor fella is in here still. 
Where's that armor, pal? Hey, listen up. The reason Dr. Wesker died is because he deserved it. It's called karma. Well, you seem like a delightful you fellow. Always insulted my research. Serves him right. Serves him right. Uh, you know, your footprint oh, doesn't look big enough to be the cold. one that uh this is also is on the fault. top of the thing. They still haven't come back with that armor pal I lent them. I'll take a bath with it once it comes back to me. Oh, Jesus. But that means I need to start research on waterproofing it. I think I've seen something I shouldn't have. He certainly has <laughs> a against Dr. Huesca. <laughs> I guess it's easy to find out what I think I've discovered a 55-year-old man's fetish. My forte exposes anyone's inner life and encourages them to tell the truth. That being said, you just watch them do that. Ability that no one comes near me anymore, which is what makes you special, Yuma. You think so? You're way too naive, Master. Yeah, because we got to share this together. Bromance. You get to share experience. my pain. Oh. You get to understand the angry why people hate me. There's a manual for Amapel. I already know most of the controls, but I should read this. Amapel can be controlled via watch the yep, we know all this. safety. The ends of the arms are ball shaped, but can still be used for actions such as however, while extending yes. or retracting an arm, the control Balls. and body do not function. This is to prevent yes. the arm's wires from being tangled when children handle it roughly. It has a load capacity of 100 kilograms and is durable enough to withstand most falls. It is durable enough to withstand being kicked the over. The pitch does say withstand play with your rowdiest kids and tough enough for an elephant to stand on. It's exactly as the researcher told them. Yeah. That's like word for word. I'm getting excited here. Uh, strange thing back here. Nice. And they handle high voltages and toxic I gas. Oh. I think we could be friends. You think so? His blueprints look kind of cool. Okay, I've seen everything. And right, I'm out of here. I didn't quite go through the door, but whatever. Who cares? Oh, this is where the chief was. The gory blood stains are still here. They're from Chief Yako. This is where he was attacked by the hitman. Damn it all! If I'd only gotten here earlier, I could have changed his fate. If you had the chance to Yuma, change your fate, did you see the hitman? Would you? Face? No, not clearly. I just saw a guy but wander around. Was the hitman? Because Chief Yako said so himself. <laughs> The hitman. Think. The slaughter. Think. Artist. That motherfucker. Also, the knife which was used to stab Chief Yako has an F inscribed in it. Ah. Uh, the murder weapon always used by Fink, the slaughter artist. You know about it? Unless it was some, some other motherfucker pretending to be comment. Fink, the slaughter fucker. I am still a detective, I suppose. He uses his knife to prove to his clients that he committed the murder. Setting that aside, don't you think these blood stains are unnatural? You're right. There are some strange marks, like something brushed against it. Considering the chaos at the time, I don't think it's odd for a mark Did like this to be Did he slide? Here. Look closer. This mark. Did one of those robots drag him for a bit? Yeah. It? Was he trying to tell us something? No. It's more like he was trying to reach for something, rather than write out words. What could he have been reaching for? Master, maybe it's that house plan over there. Good one. Maybe house plant. <laughs> this plant. Oh, Vivia, something's hidden behind the pot. A photo really? and a map. Isn't this the map? Of Looks like he lab? did reach it. Could it have been taken from that folder in storage? But why would it be here? As for the photo, I have no idea. <gasps> it's his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. The photo shows a young man and a woman. The woman looks 
looks like she's wearing a lab coat. Is she a researcher here? Oh, maybe the chief is also ex Amaterasu. Man, covered with blood. I can't see his face very well. That would make a lot of sense. You fall in love with the woman? You really fall for every girl. I did fall for her, actually. But You're she's probably, the one making she's it dead. up, Shinigami. She's probably so dead. You don't know the connection between the case and this photo? I don't. But it has to be a clue. This bloodstain was made by Chief Yako as he tried to hide this behind the pot. He left this clue and made sure the culprit didn't find it. By using the last of his dying strength? He's not dead! <laughs> He's not! No, he can't be dead. I loved him. I think that's about it. Yeah, check what I can. Done! I think I've checked everything I could. I knew it. You didn't get any clues for the case. We have learned a lot here. What? But what did uh. you learn? That's all I can do to help. I mean, look at all the solution keys I got. After all, I'm more interested uh. in the story than the truth. I think we should return to our bodies soon. There's not much time. What is this man? Is this man really going to run through the mystery labyrinth with me? <laughs> Does he have the energy for that? Let me tell you. Let me tell you <laughs> the whole story from the start. <laughs> I'm going to the tell protector you prologue. <laughs> the protector prologue. <laughs> <laughs> the darkness investing this world was incomprehensible. <laughs> it truly was a dark world. I think that's actually how the first book starts. <laughs> uh <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> you dug your own grave, brother. <laughs> I did. I really did. <laughs> From the start. Investigation go. Um, oh, we're back. How lovely. A lot more information thanks to Vivia's help. Whatever, just tell us what you found. We don't have time. Be sure. Yeah, the chief is dead. <laughs> anyway, here's where we're wasting 2 hours explaining it while the chief is dying. So nothing you found leads us directly to the culprit. Damn. In the end, Chief Yako really was a protector. -na -na -na. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No mercy oh, starts yeah. playing in the background. <laughs> what did we learn from that? The security logs. They should be saved on the doctor's computer. If we could check the logs, oh we shit! Clearly see the security system status. With that, we may be able to figure out when and how the culprit. Yeah, that is like the one vital clue we didn't get to see because being a ghost. Did you check the logs with that computer instead? I can see that the log file exists, <laughs> but you must log onto the doctor's computer to see what's inside. You were, you were in the doctor's lab. Why didn't you check his computer? I was a ghost, idiot. Touch anything while using spectral projection. So obviously, we couldn't mess with a computer either. Why didn't you possess a peacekeeper in the room and make him order the others to do it? Oh, come on, dude. Just give Don't it a rest. Realistic, please. The ghost form isn't all powerful like that. It cannot take over someone else's body, nor can it be hurt. In fact, you weren't able to hear the conversation between Yuma and me when we were using spectral projection. Master. I think you should carefully remember the spectral projection trait. Huh? Why do you say that? No reason. I just have a feeling. I mean, you're the one who makes solution keys, so I believe you. <sighs> Since it can't be done with spectral projection, I got to feel it. Go back there and look at the computer, right? That's basically jumping right into enemy territory. That tonight's gonna be a good night. Tonight's gonna be a good, good night. This is bad. Oh, he's dead. His heartbeat. Are you serious? Is the chief gonna be all right? Don't just stand there. Right. Kiss him. Chief. Give him mouth to mouth. It was only a matter of time to begin with, but it looks like that time has come. Mystery labyrinth time. Oh. What Why haven't they discovered doing? us yet? Isn't this door just unlocked? For everyone. Chief Yako, Alara, Fubuki, Tsuhiko, and even Vivia. I refuse to let it Who cares a lot about it? 
to be honest, even if you want to go to the mystery labyrinth, you don't have enough clues. Why not? So you're saying we can't do anything until we check the doctor's computer? Hey, Master. You've always been relying on others until now. Isn't it time for you to handle this by yourself? So what, you want me to just you fucking trainee, walk right through? Leave? Try to save everybody on your own without asking for help. Save them all on my own? Nah, I guess you're really not that type of person, Master. I'm just teasing ya. And all of a sudden he just locks in. Oh, he did. Stay here. Yuma, I'll be right back. What's wrong? I'm heading back I got to something to do. We have to find the final clue. Wow. Wait. Are you heading in there as yourself? Do you know what you're doing, Yuma? It's all over if you go out there and get caught. All I have to do is read the thing. Ghost form. I have an idea where the peacekeepers are located. Now is our only chance before Yomi comes back with more peacekeepers. All right. I'll leave the investigation to you, Yuma. Hey. Sure about this? Our hands are full just trying to treat the chief. We don't have to we don't have time to disagree. To leave it to Yuma. The doctor's computer should have the security log and other important data hidden inside. Right. I'll see to it. His password is titties123. Yeah, his favorite out. thing. The doctor's favorite time. thing, I knew it. No, Fubuki. Please save your power for when everyone is in danger. I'll be fine. Reversing time takes a lot of energy, right? It should be saved as a last resort. Alright. I'll stay here as well. Why? You should go! There is nothing for me to do. Besides, I mean, that's, that's correct. Even if we found the truth, it would not improve the situation here. So you're just gonna give up? You gotta be kidding! Fine! I won't waste time asking you anything anymore. Just go to sleep or whatever! Yuma, you're our only hope. Show him you're no longer just a rookie. Right. I'm heading off now. Master. That's it. Here? We're a professional. I am a detective after all. Well, a trainee one. <laughs> Seems like my training is working. Oh, what training? Your training to, like, gaslight us? You should probably keep that in mind, too. Huh? Why? Because she tried it, it once. Probably has nothing to do with the case. Just a feeling. You know, just in case. Yeah, she she did use it once. All right, but I guess if even if though she used it once, it kind of it was the same result. Okay. Well, then I I guess I turn right here. I guess so. There's definitely a guy on the other end there. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Oh, I guess I can turn right before. Okay. Peer around the corner. Through here. Yeah, baby! Everyone's just gone. Oh, shit. The sword yeah. fell for 0.3 seconds. And then he walked back into the hallway. Oh, I managed to get here without being seen, but there should be more peacekeepers up ahead. I, better I have to throw a rock to distract set. them. My favorite pastime. What if some toxic gas is still lingering around? <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> Okay. They're gone. Uh. Oh, no, they're not. I'm just gonna walk real slow. Oh, okay, cutscene. I knew it. There are still some peacekeepers. But once I'm at the computer, I'll be in their blind spot. How are you going to get past that? Yeah, but then it's, it's gonna stop playing pornography really loudly, and then they'll, they'll be like, yeah. huh? huh? <laughs> the mouse clicking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we gotta make sure they're not gonna turn around at any point. 
I think as long as I go slowly. I'm edging, 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 edging. There we go. Edging, edging. Fuck. Okay. But it doesn't seem like they're turning around. Just go for it. Yeah, I don't think they are going to. Just go for it. Time. We need to hurry up and check the doctor's computer. There we go. What's left is to check the computer. Can can nice one. Oh no! I told you not to get clumsy. You're that terrorist detective. How did you get here? I'll catch you and report to Director Yomi. Master, you have to take a chance in the mystery labyrinth. Wait, I didn't check the computer yet. I have to do that before going to the mystery labyrinth. Then what are you gonna do? Why do I? I don't know. Fight. <laughs> Just, Just jump out of the way real fast. Resistance is futile. <sighs> What's the matter? Someone's gonna save me. <gasps> Vivia. Hey. Oh hell yeah. Sheesh. What a pain. I want to die someday. That's hype. And this was going to be the answer. But I had to use it on them. Brother, stop celebrating. Like you got to check that thing. In my pocket. You seem happy What's about that. The syringe? He's like a walking cop magnet. I know I should leave you alone. But curiosity got the best of me. You are like death. Itself. You said that before, but I'm not the death detective. No matter. I will be a witness to the end. Ah, uh, yes, you are. Once you obtain the I knew you have a god of death with you. To scream that bitch is time. annoying. <laughs> I've heard her the whole time. I don't get what you mean, but you really saved me. <laughs> and now I can check the doctor's computer. Hmm. Vivia really helped us out there. Assuming I can log Listen. in. It's not locked. Oh, thank goodness. Okay then. No one could enter this. Room. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess when you buy stuff by yourself or however long, what's the point of having yeah, a lock? Let's see. Security log. Reference folder one, folder two, folder three. Well, what are you looking at? And what did you find out? Well, basically, when the security system I'm is kind of a whiz. on or off. It automatically records the date and time in the log. So if someone cut the security and entered this room without permission, it would be recorded in the log. Uh huh. I don't really get it. I'm not into modern machines and stuff. Huh? What's going on here? What's wrong? The only instance of the security being switched off was yeah. an hour ago. It hasn't been turned back on since. That means this must have been when I used Amapal to disable the security. Right. So well, the last time security there's no was other was 90 days ago. Yeah, three months. So no one days? turned it off. Which means that security was up for at least 90 days before I disarmed it. There wasn't a single moment that security was cut during that time. Yep. This old man was cooped up in here for 90 days. He's a bona fide shut in. That's not the problem here. He gets the shut in there's award. No we knew that. We knew that. Out of this room. There should be a log of the hitman entering before we did. Since there isn't, the doctor couldn't have been murdered here. It's the perfect impossible. Unless it's one of the scientists. Crime. Fuck. Like he had a he had a coat lab. It appears yeah. we have straight further from the truth. Hmm. The files are formatted to prevent editing. There doesn't appear to be signs that the log was rewritten. We've checked the data, but it's just made the crime even more impossible. And thus, the mystery deepens. Yes. I can barely see you in that light. It's not over yet. No, no. There could be more secret data. Halara even mentioned it. His emails haven't been deleted. He's been communicating a Sweet. lot with the same person. One message is fairly recent, too. Okay, this is the rumor. This is about the rumor that he was collaborating with someone. To, from... <laughs> Doctor, we have trouble. Someone has discovered our deal. You should go into hiding for the time being. It appears it's time to call it quits. We've profited enough from this already. It's too dangerous to leak research and confident 
confidential information any longer. I shall fully withdraw here. With this money, I will fund my new research. Are the rumors true? You intend to leave Kanai War? Doctor, don't tell me you're plotting some plotting to take the research and run. I hope you already know this, but you have nowhere to go. What's the matter, Doctor? Are you ignoring me? I will not permit any betrayal. I've told you before, you have nowhere to run. Prepare yourself. This is Quite a suspicious exchange. Right, so the person he what he collaborating with was Fink. And the Fink is also a researcher. I'm sure doctor refers to Dr. Hoskins. And Fink was like, nah, you can't get out. Yeah. So I'm going to kill you. The address is just random characters jumbled together. It'd be hard to figure out who the person is just from this. The doctor spoke to a mysterious person about leaking research and confidential information. Speaking of which, Makoto mentioned something similar. Well, this is just a rumor, but someone in Amaterasu Corporation is working behind the scenes with Dr. Weska. I don't know what they're plotting, but if this rumor is true, they must be dealt with eventually. So his suspicions were right. Searching through the backlog of the emails, this appears to have been going on for over five years, but it seems like the relationship right. soured about six Jesus. months ago. I guess the doctor wanted to cut ties. So the doctor plotted to leave Kanai Ward and this anonymous tried to stop him. And, uh, the dumb Jack the Ripper ripoff decided to do it himself. Yeah. Yeah, the doctor's not in Kanai Ward anymore. Could anonymous be the one who hired the hitman? The doctor betrayed him, so he sought to kill the doctor. Makes sense. The doctor didn't shut himself in here just for research. He did it to protect himself. He felt Anonymous posed a threat. So he barricaded himself in a lab with impenetrable security. That also makes sense. But he sure didn't act like someone living with a death threat, right? Either he was that well, confident I mean, I think he was fairly confident no one was getting through. It was just a facade. Regardless, this Anonymous is very suspicious. If only we could find out who this is. Even if that person hired the hitman, we still don't know how he got inside. True. That is the biggest puzzle here. How did the culprit get through such perfect security and murder the doctor? If we don't figure that out, the case can't be solved and our innocence can't be proven. Huh? Fuck. Who's there?